Okay, so... Oh, okay, so there are these three that it doesn't reveal at all. And then this is the secret one. Not really secret, but rare. And I know what all these are. So the plants, there are a bunch down here that we haven't encountered, because those are just the ones that you have to buy from Crazy Dave as upgrades. Okay, no new zombies here, just a different mix than we've seen. Hmm, I almost used my <laughs> pea shooters, those wouldn't do me much good. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to forego the emergency plants this time around. But I do have a counter to every one of these zombies now. I'll just have to make sure that I start out well. And if not, well, that's what the roof cleaners are for. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play it safe here. Probably could have waited a bit longer. Oh, three flag level. Alright, long one. I'm wondering if 5-9 is gonna be a four flag level, or if, or if that's only after you've played through once and are playing it for the second time. I'm not sure. Ah, you are disrupting my sunflower planting plans. Yeah, I'll plant one more of these. When you get more sunflowers, not only do you get more sun pr production, but it becomes more consistent. Because when you have only a few, then it's like you could get a lot and then a lot at a time and then, you know, nothing for a while. Of course, the more you have, then the more evenly it's going to be spread out, because that's just how larger numbers work. When you have more of something, things will average out more more frequently. If you don't know what I mean, well, that's just because I didn't explain myself very well. Okay, I'm getting a little faster here. Getting some basic defenses up. I think this one cabbage pulp, two kernel pulp thing works pretty well. Probably gonna replace two of these sunflowers with umbrella leaves eventually. As you guys know, I do like my two rows of sunflowers, but I think I should be able to get away with having eight sunflowers rather than ten in this stage. Especially if I build up a good reserve of sun first. Guess I'll put the mag shrooms in front of the second row of kernel pulps. Now remember, the you do want to protect the magnet shrooms, but you don't want to put them too far back because they only have, uh, I think it's a two square radius. It's either two or three, but I'm pretty sure it's two. Okay, maybe we'll see some catapult guys here, maybe we won't. But we'll probably see some bungee zombies, so I might as well plant at least one of those. Yeah, what's nice is that the umbrella leaf defends itself from bungee zombies, so... The bungee zombie can't just, you know, can't just go up and, and yoink the umbrella leaf itself. 
another good thing, it can take an unlimited number of hits from basketballs. It is completely immune to them. But you guys won't really see any of those things if no bungee or catapult zombies show up. I know they're going to, it just seems getting, you know, it's getting on in the level here. Okay, so now my entire back three rows are protected. I couldn't put more here, but I do not want to compromise the defensive tower there. Move for coordination. That was clumsy. I meant to plant the flower pot in this row. Why didn't... I wonder why that last ladder didn't get... sucked in. Magnetized. Whatever. I remember uh, when we were hanging lights for our, our show in law school, the, the guy in charge of it said, yeah, guys, uh, just don't remember, don't, you know, coil the wire around this, around this boom, because th that'll create an electromagnet, uh, electromagnet, and we don't want that. Because, <laughs> I mean, they spend hours just getting the lights at exactly the right angle, and I guess if there were a magnet there, they would, you know, move the lights to the wrong positions, the wrong angles. Okay, second big wave. What do they have for me this time? So they could steal stuff here, but... Like I said, I don't really want to be planting fewer kernel pulps than I am. And they can't get my sunflowers or cabbage pulp by, you know, basketballs or by grabbing them away. Boing! You see that? You know when the umbrella leaves are working because they just, you know, grow <laughs> much bigger than their tops do. These plants are really annoying in eye zombie. Of course, the later stages when they're actually there. I don't think... Yeah, we didn't see any in the early stages. Um, I'm going to say this in my... two-year anniversary... vlog. So you may see it there first, but, um... But, uh, so I got an offer, it wasn't exactly for a job, but it's a, a volunteer opportunity that I'm hoping will maybe lead to a job eventually. Anyway, I'm, I took the, I took the offer, um, and I will be starting that work tomorrow, uh, the 9th of November. Oh crap, how do they, oh, just... That this is not good. This is very bad. Crap, he's just rolling over all my plants. Okay, they got him. Okay, put the wall back up. Hopefully I can deal with those zombies, but I don't have any emergency plants. Okay, this will slow him down a little. Please get through that cone. Please hit him with butter. Why did that zombie even advance like that? They usually just stay back. Okay, that's over for now. Have to replace those players. Yeah, I don't know why that guy just started going forward. They usually just stay back like that. In any case, I seem to have contained the breach reasonably well. Okay, this is too many. 
and I can't really put up many more plants because I'm running out of room. Guess I'll just have to replace the tall nuts that are badly damaged. Yeah, you can see smoke coming out of it when it's almost gone. The catapult machine thingy. Harding water bottle again. Mm. Unfortunately, they didn't go far back enough to get leafed. But yeah, this wave will not be enough. My defenses shall hold against all brain-eating weirdos. Which I guess would be just zombies, basically. Although that guy is... Oh, he almost got through, but that last cabbage got him. Yeah, now we have a problem here. Oh, I wish those things did splash damage. Okay, this should hold him. Again, I get... I get... You know, burned because... The rows are being attacked unevenly. Oh, that thing may not hold. Okay, time for more support. Okay, I don't think I've ever taken this long to get rid of the last row in a level. Like, this much longer than for the rest of the row. Okay, this should be it. Okay, you guys have seen this plant before in the Zen Garden. I really don't use these. I mean, it's so much that I, I, I use them so rarely, I'm not even going to use them in this next level. All it does is give you coins, and if you are focusing on defending yourself against the zombies, it really doesn't do much for you. I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm going to need, I'm going to need other stuff in, I'm going to need to <laughs> plant other stuff. Uh, okay, this is the biggest problem in the game for me, personally, the Gargantuar. It is the biggest and baddest zombie you will see apart from, apart from one there's only one zombie that's uh, more threatening than this guy, and you only see that one once. Um, plants that, you know, usually kill zombies instantly don't always work against this guy. He can just smash any plant instantly, although he goes pretty slowly. Um, stuff like garlic won't affect him. Uh, and, yeah, it's just really tough and hard to take down. Oh, and, and as if that weren't enough, when you damage him a lot, he'll toss this imp into the middle of your plants, which is why I have the umbrella leaf ready. The imp is not very strong, but, you know, if you're, you know, you're basically defending yourself against... A frontal attack. You know what, maybe this isn't the best idea. Maybe I'd do better with another plant. No, I'm gonna go with the tall nut. So, you know, you're, you're defending yourself against a frontal attack, so even a weak zombie just tossed into the middle of everything can do a lot of damage. Since it'll be, since it'll be behind your defensive plants. Like, you know, the doll nuts. They also move, I think, faster than reg regular zombies do. More quickly. Okay, I think this will be the last stage of this recording session. We'll see how long it goes.
I am going to mail in my bar admission application today, or today or tomorrow. I just hope I'm going to get it in on time for the January or February, the winter induction ceremony rather than the spring one. So that I will actually be a lawyer in a couple of months rather than, you know, just say I'm going to be a lawyer. Uh, should I bother with those sunflowers even that I'm going to replace? I'll just plant like this for now. Again, for most levels, you probably don't need the 10 sunflowers. I just figure it's better to have too much sun than not enough. It's not like the extra sun can hurt you. Well, hey, as long as I get two sun thingies out of... Sunflower, I guess it's a, nest, a net gain to plant the, or not a loss to plant it, even if I'm going to replace it. So yeah, it'll be all zombies encountered except for two after this level. And there are only two levels after this one in the in the whole adventure. I don't know if I said this or if I just started to say this and then, like, something interrupted me or I lost my train of thought, but I am going to finish Super Mario RPG. I just, you know, I wanted to do a longer session of that, and I always... I keep just finding that I don't have the time to record as much as I want of that. Unfortunately, the situation is just going to get worse with me starting, you know, a full-time volunteer position. Yeah, I think I can just plant the umbrella leaves as soon as I start to see gargantuars. May want an extra row of cabbage pulps this time to make sure I'm doing enough damage because those gargantuars are tough to drop. And it's not that these plants will not work on them, it's, you know, like, the, the normally insta-kill plants. Uh-oh. Here comes one. It's just that they will not be instant kills. You'll need, like, two of them. Yeah, so I do plan to finish Super Mario RPG pretty soon. Of course, I'll be finishing this game before too long also because the other game modes won't take that long to show off. They'll take a, they'll take a number of episodes, but not, like... You know, it won't take months or anything. Maybe not even one month. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I should even plant tall nuts in this level because a gargantuar can just smash, smash one instantly like it smashes any other plant. Ah, crap! Why didn't that work? I thought it was supposed to... Yes, well, emergency plants are important whenever you have gargantuas around because, for some reason, an imp does get, you know, far into your ranks. Then you can just blow it up or squash it or whatever. No! Stupid squash! Okay, let's see if I can stop the row from getting entirely wasted. I don't think I can. These aren't recharging quickly enough. Okay, roof cleaner, do your thing. Just 
hoping to have a bit more success against the first one of those guys that I encountered. As you can see, my defenses seem perfectly adequate to deal with anything else. I think, you know, a lot of times gar gargantuars can kind of break the game against you. Because it's like you can defend against them or you can defend against everything else. Defending against them and other zombies is very difficult. Okay, fortunately I'm building this row back pretty quickly. This will be the row I really have to watch out for when the final wave comes now. For fortunately, there is not another Gargantuar coming in that row. Maybe the imp just didn't land close enough to the Umbrella Leaf for the Umbrella Leaf to have its intended effect. We need to make sure we're doing lots of damage here. Okay, Butter also helps, of course. In fact, let's put more Butter on him. Yeah, it's fine to replace your sunflowers late in the level when, you know, there are only a few zombies left, because then there's only a limited amount of sun you're actually going to need. Maybe I'll toss the imp, like, over the edge of the roof. That would be funny. <laughs> well, that was weird. It smashed the flower pot <laughs> without getting the squash because of the timing of things. Bye. Okay, this plant is like possibly the best one in the game. It's certainly one of my favorites, if, if not my favorite. It is expensive, as you can see, but it is worth every bit of that 300 sun. It is, uh,. It launches watermelons, which are basically, like, small bombs. They, they won't kill anything instantly, but they do more damage than peas, more damage than cabbages. And the best part is that they do splash damage. If you have a row of these, then they will just... They will destroy a whole bunch of zombies pretty easily. Um, and if you have two... Or if you have a column of these, I should say. And if you have two columns, then you can just watch the bodies pile up. Uh, we will see that next time, however. For now, Thinker2112, over and out. Bye.